All right, hello everyone and welcome to episode 35 of Zero Two Hero. And this is it, it's the final stride towards whether or not we can finish as the J1 League champions. I've already said that I want to leave Japan in the summer and I want to leave with a league title. We've been here three or four seasons, I think it is. I think it's three, I'm not sure. We've developed really well, but it's about time we go somewhere where we can challenge ourselves a little bit better, play with better players, um, and hopefully that'll push us to improve. But we needed three points first, and this lovely goal from uh, Pedro Junior helped us um, ensure we were on the path to doing that. But as we know, we tend to concede goals right after we score. So it was important that we remained focused, but um, yeah. We didn't. Or at least our goalkeeper didn't. I know a couple of you guys have mentioned it in the previous episodes that my goalkeepers are just dreadful. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what's wrong with them. But obviously it's out of my control, so it is what it is. Uh, I did get substituted off, but fortunately for me, that same man was on target. Pedro Jr. Header at the back post. Um, not completely unmarked. Did well to rise up. He's not the biggest um, but, you know, it wasn't exactly a sexy win, you know, 6.0 rating for me. But at this point, when you're pushing to try and win the league, all that really counts is that you get all three points, regardless of how you do it. Uh, anyhow, we put away that dodgy performance behind us and I flew off to England. Uh, we had a friendly against Viva España. It was James Madison. Uh, who put us 1-0 up, and then Manu Garcia got the equaliser. I did eventually get substituted on, and I think I was perhaps um, at fault for Koke's goal to make it 2-1 in the 83rd minute. You can see here, the ball kind of bounces off me, and then I swing my leg to try and clear the ball. But Koke somehow just beat me towards the ball. I came close to getting an assist to Sterling there, but it was a bit of an acute angle, and it did mean that we lost against Spain. Um, we have qualified for the World Cup. Obviously, I've not been announced in the World Cup squad yet. There's a big chance I don't even get called up to the World Cup. But these friendly matches are just to allow, obviously, Gareth Southgate to get a feel of some of the players. And I guess I didn't really impress in that scenario. Uh, Jaden Sancho certainly did. And Deli Ali, though, certainly has there as he made it 2-0. We wanted revenge for, obviously, what happened in the summer in real life against the Croatians. So here we are. I got subbed on. Low cross into the box because Harry Kane wasn't playing up front, so it felt like it would probably be a better fit. But ironically, it was actually a slightly volleyed ball um, that allowed me to do that uh, on the spin in the box past the Croatian defenders. See you later. Havala Brate. And uh, yeah, ball smashed into the bottom right hand corner, or the bottom left hand corner of the goalkeeper. Uh, first England goal for me. So absolutely buzzing. At Wembley as well. And then it, obviously it left me on a fantastic note to return to Japan. And it was an away match up next against Vajalta Sendai. Uh, 24th minute. Ball was played into the box. And it was an easy tap in for yours truly. So a great pass from Leandro. Uh, keeping up my goal scoring form as long as I'm wearing a white kit. I think I'm wearing an England shirt. And uh, yeah, four minutes later we conceded. I'm getting real real sick and tired of your shit, Pez. <laughs> it was Takagi, or Takagi, I don't know how you pronounce that. A low-drilled cross, uh, an easy finish. And, uh, yeah, we had to go again. 38th minute free kick was whipped in on target. Fortunately, though, our goalkeeper was awake in this scenario. Ball over the top, left one of our players in on goal, and that player was none other than... Abe, who, uh, shout out to the guy who told me in the comments of the previous video, that Abe in real life has actually got himself a transfer to Barcelona. That's really cool. Um, so congratulations to him. And again, it wasn't like a sexy win. It was a 9.0 rating for us. Um, but a win's a win, you know, even at 2-1, even at 1-0. Um, a win's a win. I did apparently get injured. I'm not quite sure why. Fortunately, it only left me out for that one match. Um, and here we have the league table as things currently stand. 
We have a five-point lead at the top of the table. There's still about eight or so matches to be played. I was in Team of the Month again. I'm currently top of the assist chart, so not only do we want to try and win the league, but a personal achievement I want to try and re-achieve that I obviously already achieved a season ago with Viva and Nagasaki, or two seasons ago was finishing top of the assist charts. But at this rate, I wanted to finish on top of the goal of the season charts. Look at that for a volley. Unbelievable. Take her bow, son. Ball came over the top. There was a little bit of a gap, a little bit of a space in front of me. Um, and I just decided to give it a go, go on the volley, because the defender had goal side of me. And it just, it darted into the corner. Um, you know, I'll have that. And I came close as well a couple of minutes later to my second ever headed goal. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not really much of a uh, heading type of player. 67th minute, nice shot along the ground. Got saved by the goalkeeper. Um, they had a header from a corner once again, thanks to our goalkeeper for showing up for once. They had another header on goal, but it went over the bar. And again, another win that wasn't pretty, but all we care about at this point is that we're getting all three points and that I'm scoring amazing goals like that, which makes me look like a very, very attractive um, type of player to sign in the upcoming transfer window, right? I got man of the match as well. So very, very close. We almost have one hand on the title. Hopefully I don't jinx it at this point. Uh, so back on international duty. Loads of friendlies coming up because obviously teams are preparing for the uh, World Cup coming up. And uh, at this rate, Thibaut Courtois is probably not even going to get a Belgium call-up after that dreadful goalkeeping. Obviously, it was England straight from the kickoff. It's quite simply work the ball out wide, whip the ball into the box. Quite a simple shot from Dominic Calvert-Lewin and then it counted as a... Courtois own goal. At nine minutes, Kevin De Bruyne whipped a corner into the box towards the front post and none other than Romelu Lukaku was there to meet it. It was uh, very, very poor marking from, uh, I forgot his name now, um, the defender that was on him and obviously Jaden Sancho there at the front post didn't really have much height to do much about it. We did, however, retake the lead through our magic man, Mason Mount. Just realised that's like magic man, M.M. And Mason Mount MM. Like I, I, I realized I was saying that halfway through saying it, if you noticed. I almost confused myself in the process. Anyways, uh, I was talking about Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Um, he made the first England goal and he grabbed one of his own. Ball flew past Courtois. Obviously, Belgium picked the ball up. It was a friendly, but they knew they had to keep on going. So they did exactly that. And Romelu Lukaku's big fat head popped up again. And he popped up again with the same celebration. Jordan Pickford... Um, not really doing himself any favours by not coming out and trying to punch the ball away or, you know, trying to be proactive from crosses. And he shot himself in the foot again along with his defence that, uh, you know, at this rate can't organise a piss up in a brewery. As, uh, yeah, England threw away a 3-1 uh, a lead and uh, Belgium were suddenly at 3-3 at Wembley. I did eventually get substituted on. I came on, wanted to try and orchestrate from midfield. Great pass out wide from me, really showing off some of my technical skills there. Out wide towards, I think that was maybe Sterling or Sancho. Shot on goal from me, but it was a good save from uh, Courtois in goal. 86th minute, we see Ross Barker there trying to win the ball. Um, I'm sort of through on goal, but the red shirts are just able to get there a little bit quicker than I am. And with Courtois in goal, he ain't gonna beat from gonna get beat. Sorry, from that kind of scenario. Um, here is really weird. Like the AI blocked me from getting the ball, and it blocked Deli Ali from getting the ball. And uh, you know, people talk about scripting a lot in Pro Evo and last minute goals. And we probably saw an instance of it there without trying to come up with excuses. But it was only friendly, so I'm not too too bothered. Uh, next up was a match against Serbia, probably second time of seeing England versus Serbia because obviously we had him in our World Cup qualification group. Seven minutes in, Magic Man Mason Mount with the free kick to make it 1-0. Lovely uh, stuff just over the wall. I did eventually get subbed on, you know, 20, 30 minutes ago as I usually tend to. Uh, 86th minute, Nutmeg the defender, ball through towards... Magic Man again, and Mason Mount, who is proving to be such an important player for this England side, um, made it too. Got his second against the Serbians. Credit where it's due to Dominic Calvert-Lewin for giving me the ball in the first place. And uh, yeah, a win for England. And hopefully I could take some of Gareth Southgate's uh, magic dust and a bit of 
magical magician Mason Mount and take it with me to Japan. And at this point, we're 11 points ahead of Kashiwa Raisol in second place. So quite simply, I think at this point, a point or three points will guarantee us the league title. So this is what we've been, you know, huffing and puffing for all season, guys. I'm giving the team talk. You know, I'm the boss around here. Um, uh, but unfortunately, the first half was utterly dire, which is why I'm not going to bother showing any of it to you. So back heel from me towards our right back. And then he, for some strange reason, decides to cut inside on his weaker foot. So I say, give us a ball here, lad. Um, thread the through ball in towards... Um, I can't tell who that is, to be honest, but I definitely know who scored the goal. It's Mr. Lump, the big lump, uh, as I used to call him when I first joined the team because I used to always float boxes, float crosses into the box for him, and he'd always head her over the bar or just completely miss it. Uh, but this time round, he scored with his feet. It was none other than Kakita. It's been quiet all season, but, you know, if you want to show up today, fair play. So I decided to keep on putting crosses into the box for him. Unfortunately, even though we're here a year and a half later, he's still as crap in the air as he's always been, um, and he decided to score a, a volley just to shut me up. So there we go. That was the two-goal breathing space towards the end of this game in the second half. And, you know, to stop us winning the title at this stage, Yokohama needed three goals. Um, ball over the top towards Edgar Jr. Of course he scored in the dying moments of the game because we're used to conceding all the time in the dying moments of the game. But there we go. Title secured. Mission accomplished, a 2-1 win, again it wasn't pretty, but we scraped through in the end, you know, it was so difficult for us not to win the league title at the end of last season, but we've done it this time round, uh, man of the match for Kakita, there we have it, you know, it doesn't matter what happens for the rest of the games, that's how the league finished, there were a couple more games, but I skipped them because there's not really much point, um, yeah, I finished in team of the season, I also won Asian best player of the year award obviously i finished third i think or second last year so it's nice to see me getting recognition this time round but it's probably proof that i am the best player in asia at the moment even though obviously there are higher overall rated players than me it's all about your performances i got mvp for the j1 league i got most assists for the j1 league i got a stupid new nickname that calls me can do whatever that means but there we go i got a massive 38 votes um, Hector Bellerin won South America Player of the Year again, which is why I put that in there for a laugh. And here we go, guys. 15 goals this season for yours truly. 18 assists. What a career we've had so far. Um, considering we started at like 50 overall or whatever it was, things are going well, and it's time to try and get a club in Europe. So leave your suggestions below, and let's see where I end up in the next episode. As always, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.